So this is Light Paint Live Mercury Pro. It's got a couple of extra features. Um, there's masking, autosave, and kaleidoscope. Um, masking, you can get some cool stuff like this. Jason Page did this work with um, cardboard cutouts, I think. Um, but you can do the same thing with uh, Light Paint Live. Um, you can use images uh, or videos. Um, I'm going to do an image first. You can just drag and drop onto the mask input and then turn it on to see. So all of this area in black won't be painted. So you can do the figure first, pause it, and then disable the mask and do uh, some other painting. Very cool. Um, Autosave is pretty simple. It just, instead of having to press the save button all the time, uh, it will automatically save your work uh, whenever you hit the new button. Um, and Kaleidoscope does what you think it would. Get some pretty cool shapes going on there. So a little bit hard to control, but it's totally worth it. So yeah, those are the features in Pro. Uh, we used to have video recording, but we've removed it since it didn't work very well. And it made our computers super hot. Um, there's lots of other ways to record video. I'm using QuickTime right now. If you're on Mac, you can do that. Um, there's also Screencast-O-Matic, which is pretty good. It's a web app. Um, and if you're comfortable with the command line, you can use FFmpeg. Um, so that's pretty much it. I just want to show off my favorite light painting tool. It's called uh, Blinky Tape, and it's programmable LEDs. Um, so you can hook it up to an Ardu Arduino if you want, or you can preload patterns. Um, and it will just loop endlessly. Um, and so to get super smooth trails with a webcam, it's kind of difficult. Um, so you, you really have to get some kind of driver controls for your webcam. And this is a webcam settings. It's only for Mac, but it, it works really well. Um, you get control over gain if you want that. Um, but most importantly, exposure time. So setting the exposure super low will make it really dim and it will make the lights pop out a lot, but uh, you won't get as smooth trails. Um, to illustrate this, I'll just turn it all the way down. Uh, it, it's not even exposing the frame for long enough to catch a full LED. Um, so conversely, if we crank it, You'll see it starts to get like a little bit blurry um, and the frame rate is kind of low, but that's where you, you'll get super smooth trails. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, enjoy the program and send us a note on Facebook.